all became more local in everything that we have been doing in the last 12 months. But it's true that the museum became more local during this time, just because of the sheer change of visitorship. Our audience right now is 90% visitors from New York City. And we would have to look back into the 1930s or whatever, <laughs> that we would have that kind of ratio. That brings with it a couple of interesting opportunities. As a museum, of course, your local audience, it's an audience that you can continuously engage with. There are people who come again and again, they feel that the museum in their backyard. And what happened to us also during the couple of months that we were closed, people in New York actually realized how important the museum is for them and how much they miss the Met. So our local audience reconnected with us in such a forceful and also very emotional way. We are working a lot right now about how we, even during this still time of social distancing and safety measures, how we can create even more cohesion with our local audience. Having said that, though, the Met in its whole understanding is not a local institution. It is a very global museum a museum not only about the world, but really for the world. We are not a collection that came out of a nationalistic idea, or we are not a collection that was brought about by a king or by the church. We are a collection that was built by citizens in the last 150 years to basically show the world. And I think it could not have happened anywhere else than New York, not only because of the philanthropy that was in New York, but also because New York was a logical place for that as an intersection of so many people coming through. So it's really an institution that caters on purpose to an international audience, not so much just because they are visitors and tourists, but just because we want to have that level of accessibility and dialogue. I think our challenge and our opportunity is we need to become now and forever more hyper-local in so many other places. The museum has to become multi-centric in regard to its outreach. And with that, I don't mean satellite institutions around the world, but what I mean is that we need, and digital platforms allow us so many opportunities for that. We need to engage and be accessible in a whole lot of other local communities that are thousands of miles away from us. And so as an example, we are currently doing program that is just for Chinese audiences in Mandarin. We want to make sure that we are not just an international institution, but we are in fact a very local institution, but we are local in many, many places. And so in that sense, create a level of engagement, cohesion and voice uh, that is being seen as local and regional. And that for us is also important because one of the great advantages of the Met, but also I would say one of the challenges is that more often than not, does the Met have the best collection of a particular culture outside of its source country. And so in a sense, it also means it's a responsibility to share this collection and share accessibility to the knowledge about it, but also share your engagement and your voice as good as you can. I would strongly argue that our museum in the last 12 months, despite all its challenges and some of the financial adjustments that we had to do, expanded significantly. We grew like radically in regard to not only a digital audience, but in regard to our outreach and our understanding about we need to be strategically and vigorously engaged all around the globe in a significantly different way than we did it before.